Happy holidays, folks. Here we are. Here we are. And I am going to revisit a tutorial I did a few years ago. But first, John Michalutis of My Excel Online invited me and a bunch of other people to share our tips, our Excel tips from 2019. They're all in a podcast. There's me, Minda Tracy, Danielle Stein Fairhurst, and Chan Du. They both, they live upside down in Australia and New Zealand, and they came right side up to share a tip with you. There's John Akampura, Sohail Anwar, all kinds of wonderful folks. You gotta check it out. I'm gonna leave you a link. Today's video goes back a few years ago when this distraught fellow, he said he and his two siblings were trying to figure out who owes whom what after Christmas. Here we've got these three siblings, Jay, Tanya, and Bo. Jay found a hat for mom. Bo and Tanya are both in for 20 bucks. Bo found some ostrich skin pants that dad has really been wanting. And Tanya said, this is stupid, but I will contribute a dollar. And Jay said, hell no. <laughs> Up top here, I have the net amounts that with the grid as it stands, Jay has to pay Bo $415. I spent a week looking for a way that dynamic arrays of Power Query could help, but classic Excel wound up doing most of the work here. So let's get into this. First, I did do an unpivot in Power Query, and that is right here. Unhide. For those who don't know an unpivot, let me whoop that on you. Cursor in the data set. Data from table slash range. With buyer highlighted, I'm going to hold down the shift key because I also want item and gift four to be highlighted. Click, right click, unpivot other columns, and then I'd rename this payer, and then this one would be amount, whatever. But that's the unpivot. So I'm going to close that because I already did it. The next step. I set this up to show every possible transaction direction unhide. Between the three siblings, Jay could pay Bo, Bo could pay Jay. Jay could pay Tanya, Tanya could pay Jay. Tanya could pay Bo, Bo could pay Tanya. Now we use some ifs to get the totals. I'm going to delete these, delete and delete. Okay, equals some ifs. Sum range, here, comma, criteria range, the payer, comma, where the payer is J, comma, second criteria range, the buyer, comma, where that equals bow, enter, double click. Now I'm going to highlight here, right click, copy. Go over, right click, paste the formula. Beautiful. Double click. Now we have to figure out the net because we can see J pays Bo 510, Bo pays J 95. So J is going to pay Bo $510 minus 95. That's what we need. Here's the formula equals if T3 is greater than x3 then t3 minus x3 or that 95 otherwise x3 minus t3 enter and then we can drag this down the next step equals if t3 is smaller than x3 then u3 and double quotes, space pays, space, double quotes, and J, W3. Otherwise, J and double quotes, space pays, space, double quotes, and Bo, enter. J pays Bo. Drag that down. Now we have who pays whom and what net amount. So let's go over here where we have the real data and let's add some more. Scroll down. 
We got a bike, a laptop, earrings, and a tent to add. Drag that into the data set. Now watch the holiday magic. Refresh. Volt has to pay Tanya $24. When I tried to do this with more Power Query or with Dynamic Arrays, it wound up getting to be a big mess. I had so many different queries. I had joins. There was just too many moving parts. And that is when we have to ask ourselves, what is at stake here? And what are we trying to accomplish? Now, if I had my two siblings watching me do a whole bunch of joins and stuff to make this happen, they'd say, never mind. They'd go get some paper, pen, do it themselves. But by using Power Query to unpivot and then using some ifs and ifs, easy. Happy holidays.